Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Uh, Living Streams, we meet behind the trade fair, behind uh, Zenith College, um, near Big Shop Classics, and behind G Big Shop Classics, and it's just there. At the Zoe Chapel, it's just there, and you can always find it. Zoe Chapel of Life Cathedral. And we meet on Sundays for two services, and we meet on um, Wednesdays for one service in the evening, but Sundays 7 to 9 and then 10 to 12. Make a date with us as we meet at that place. But this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts on, with this word, blame game percussions. You know, the, the story of Adam and Eve is, is a very, very interesting story. In, in Genesis chapter 1 all the way to chapter 3, especially chapter 3. Now, guess what? When God saw the need of Adam and God recognized that this guy, I mean, he really needs help. I mean, what my friends would say, man, nipa hiamwa. You get it? Man needs help. Man come, they need help. Something like that. And then, I mean, God said, let me give him something. And God created one of the most, that is the apex of creation. The apex of creation is womanhood. The apex of creation, that's the beauty of all beauties, came out from the side of Adam and that was women. Whether we like it or not, I mean, they would remain the apex of, of creation. And uh, she was fascinating to, to Adam. She was very fascinating. Because Adam, I mean, never raised a prayer to God and said, Blessed be the name of the Lord who has given me a woman. But look at what Adam said. Wow! This is, the, this, this is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. And Adam said, She shall be called woman. You get it? That is the womb of the man. Now, and uh, I, I, I really like that. I mean, very, very good. So Adam didn't even thank God for Eve. Adam even didn't praise God for Eve. Adam didn't even raise a finger to speak in tongues. He never did that. But his first praise, his, his, his worship, the object of his worship, the object of his praise, the object of his appreciation, the object of his applause was, an affirmation was Eve. Wow. Now, that, that, that is something very interesting. In Genesis 3, then came trouble. And the Bible says when the trouble came, I mean, um, Eve, you know, was led, in, or Eve went around, she left the side of Adam and went walking in the, in the garden by herself, led into a conversation by the enemy. And that is something that is also very, very interesting. Her curiosity, the curiosity of women. I mean, they would ask one question, follow it up with another question. Insatiable curiosity and that's it so the uh, women are the object of discernment uh, in, in, in every relationship so they can see they can discern I mean they are very sharp at it well that's why your wife can tell I mean <laughs> you know and all that so I mean they are the object of discernment because they were the first to notice the uh, the, the snake was there and Adam didn't the Bible never said Adam had a conversation with the snake but Eve would discern the snake but she would have conversation with the snake but the problem of Eve is her mouth but look, when trouble came, Eve took that uh, apple and ate the apple and then went and stood in front of uh, Adam and said, nah, uh, let me say it in my, one of our local language, I'm not very good at it. He said, Adam, who are you? I don't know what Maybe I. I mean, Adam, would you chew? He said, mm, I'll chew, mm, I'll chew. So guess what? Eve chewed the apple and Adam also chewed the apple. A uh, very interesting way of describing the whole transaction. Yeah, they didn't just bite it, they chewed it. <laughs> you know? And God came to town. And when God came to town, this is where the blame game percussions began to roll. God said to Adam, what have you done? And then Adam said, the woman. And then asked Eve, what have you done? She said, the snake. Now guess what? Adam said, the woman. Adam refused to take responsibility for what he had done wrong. And rather passed the buck to Eve and said, it is Eve's fault. Eve also refused to take blame for what she had done. And she passed it on to the snake. This 
It's a crucible that humanity constantly walks in. This is a valley that humanity walks in. We never like to accept blame for the things that we did wrong. We rather want to apportion the blame to someone else. Every time it is someone else's fault and not you. And sometimes when we go to tell the, our story, I mean, uh, of what went wrong, we tell our story to solicit the sympathies of our listeners. And the whole blame lies on the other person. No one ever comes forward and says, I did this wrong. And maybe that's why that person did something wrong. The blame game keeps going on. Fathers are blaming mothers. Mothers are blaming children. And all those other things. Two uh, young people get into a tango in, in bed. And the results and certificate of performance comes through. I mean, then the, the young man will say, she tempted me. For what? She did not tempt you. It was your last. And then she also grows up, okay, they're going to have a child. And she also grows up blaming the child because if the child do not come, maybe I would have gone to the altar. So the blame game keeps going on. And humanity keeps beating the drums. And keep be those percussion drums from uh, conga of, of blame to, to cymbals of, of blame to uh, uh, tenor drums of blame and alto drums of blame. We keep playing it over and over and over and over again. Everybody is wrong. You are always right. Everybody's at fault. You are never at fault. Why don't you take a good look at ourselves and see, where did I go wrong? And find out where you went wrong. And then make amends for where you went wrong. Take the log out of your eye before you start pointing fingers at somebody's speck. Where did I go wrong? If, if all, uh, all embryaglos or, or, or all quarrels and all misunderstandings will start with each and every one asking himself, where or herself, where did I go wrong? Can we stop the blame game? It doesn't help. It just fuels accusation. It fuels mistrust. It fuels anger. It fuels a, a cry for revenge and justice. They say, I say, they say, I say, he said, she said, and all those things. Why don't you stop the blame game? Listen, we have a choice to stop the blame game percussions, to stop beating those drums. Or we have a choice to continue it. Look into yourself and see where you went wrong and accept responsibility rather than pass the buck. It's still a choice. See you later.